Hello, I'm Andrew Sim. Welcome back to FTL. We are in the final sector. We're not going to win. We don't have the weapons for it, and we don't have the crew. But we made it here. Uh, you arrive at the outpost to the Federation base. Your access code to the past national security, and the officer sets you up in a direct feed to the Federation base war room. Admiral Tully uh, speaks first, saying, uh, What is the meaning of this? Who, who are you? Explain your mission. Your explanation is uh, met with moments of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Fl Turzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests a potential candidate to a rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. Oh, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We don't want to hold them off from warship, but you'll prove yourself successful to destroy the flagship. Your current outposts can provide some repairs of fuel, and uh, other repair stations can provide it as well. Good luck. Uh, we get 10 fuel. We get a hull point. Socialize. Consider some upgrades. What upgrades is there to consider? Construction of drones. Mining drone. Scanner. No, I'm gonna go for socialize. Uh, NG crew. No. Okay, so do we have a shop in the sector? No, we've got repair bases. In which case, we're gonna just have to hope like hell we get lucky. We can outgrow, uh, activate both of our drones at once if we need to. You arrive at the Rebel fight looks going battling a few heavily damaged uh, Federation assault class ships. The main fleet is holding back at the core of the system, but a cruiser identifies the Iris. You'll thank me later. Has already broken through lines and stuck to Bomar's set on a nearby planet. Should we move to assist? Prepare. They've got two shields. Ah, there we go. I uh, will we'll need a defense drone. What are you firing? Okay. We can deal with that. Bring it. Bye. Oh no, it hit, it hit, it hit, it was painful. Right, we're fully charged, not quite, now we are. You go heal up. Now laser. Ah, damn. How well trained are you now? Best, best, best. Good. We're going to need it. Missile out. We need to wait until they come out of uh, cloak. And then we need to fire. I think we got. We could find out. I'm gonna try and find out. I'm gonna see what their window is like. Really? Oh, for God's sake! We hit once. Oh, it's because we clipped that drone in front of us. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, close. Rocking 4% evade at the moment. I think we upgrade the engines next. Get ourselves to 50% evade. Right, here we go. Rocket. Keep going. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we did injure them. And they seem unable to injure us, apart from the occasional missile. Come on. Ooh. Nice. Could activate a heavy drone. Would cost me from my dodge, though. Not the worst thing in the world. Let them go cloak. We're going to do it. And I'm going to take a point off shield because they're not threatening my shield. As soon as they come out of cloak, I'll make sure everything. There we go, right. Ion. Laser. We'll try and get the uh, shield if we can. There we go. They're going to retreat. No, 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 no. Yes. Ah, crap. Yes! Take that! How did the quest mark to the next sector? Or is it the next sector? Okay. Base is there. He's going to have to come through this node. Which means he's going to go like that and we can intercept him. Okay. More power. I'm always tempted to upgrade the O2 because I might think they might try and like shut off O2. Med Bay wouldn't be a bad idea either. So good doors. I mean, ugh. so many things I want to do. For now, I'm going to settle for that power bar and an extra point to the uh, the rest of the stuff, the uh, the engines. <sighs> right, let's try this. Come on. Jam. Ineffective. They're going to teleport. They have a cloning bay. This is not good for us, but okay. Um, don't need a defense drone. Might get heavy drone up. It's going to be heavy on the shield, so let's get the shields prepared. Plenty of power bars left. Where are they coming in? I want to go to my teleporter. Actually, I need you here. I need my fast reloads. Right, let's flood the area with um, a lack of oxygen. Right. Go. 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 And go. Really? You're teleporting in there? That seems like a bad idea. Shields are down, cloning base down. We could probably take them in a boarding action right about now. There's only one guy left. Clone Bane's down. We're going to go for boarding action. It's going to be weird. I'm going to go with boarding action with an NG. But what the hell. Um, take their weapons down a notch. I don't fancy fighting against that. 
Boarding action with an NG. There's a first time for everything. No prisoners to be captured. Well, released. Um, sometimes in the last sector you can get the, oh, you fight them and you release them as you, like, they had prisoners on board. Or, or you've managed to get them back and stuff, and I would love that. Three people against the flagship isn't really ideal. I'm going to jump to there. I probably should fight you sooner rather than later. I could increase my dodge further. Got 45% dodge already. I don't think there's going to be a better time than now. As much as I'd like to pretend, I don't think we're ever going to have a better chance at defeating the flagship. Unless we get lucky. Right now, we don't have a hull injured. Something broke. Sounded like something broke. Oh, it must have broken their ship. Let's do it. Rogue cruisers broken away from the main fleet. They don't realize there's no Federation ships to be willing or able to assist. Oh, okay. It's not the flagship because the flagship's coming here. Um, should we take on the cruiser? Why not? Because it's mind control, cloak, hacking, and three freaking shield. That would be why. An intruder's detected. Oh, it's me. Forgot about that. And I can't med bay to repair. Oh, God. And I can't med bay to heal. Oh, God. This is actually really, really bad. Not super bad. But pretty bad. There we go. They're uh, all airy fairy and gone with the wind or whatever. Seriously? There we go. That's our opening. Take the mind control offline. Folks offline. Keep hitting them. Or you could fail to hit them. Right. That's exactly what I want. Keep at it. They're preparing to retreat. No, they don't. Boom. I gotta say, pretty good. 100 scrap, certainly helps. Right, let's do a quick tour of the ship. Make sure any glaring plot holes. Yes, plot holes, not pot holes. Plot holes. Because I'm very afraid that we're just going to absolutely, like, screw up and die. And by we, I mean me, because... Because I'm going to be on my head if this goes wrong. Ugh. I don't need any more power there. I mean, I could do a point in here. Shields. Not shields. Doors. Doors would be too good. Honestly, I don't rate this. 20%, uh, 80% evasion, maybe. I don't, I don't rate 50% evasion. It's a lot of stuff to invest. And I can't get that indoors. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I have to pick. Doors. And I'll buy that anyway. Right, there we go. 
So if we need to leave, we can. I'm gonna wait. Here we go. Jam them. I don't know what we jammed, but we jammed something. Let's get a defense drone up. Four shield. We were having problems with less than that earlier. Oh god. Um. And then mind control. God damn it. Well, I knew mind control was coming, but. Right, we can do it. Oh, great. You shut down my pilot. And we've got no evade. That sucks. I built this ship around evade. At least there's no cloak. My evade's at 30 currently. Interesting. Oh, crap. I didn't notice, but you're still under mind control. You've taken down a weapon. If I, if I lose weapons, I can't do anything. Come on, stop being mind controlled. I can't do anything if you're mind controlled. Because I, I literally can't do anything. I need the full support. Maybe I should move people out of there. Four. There's a fire burning somewhere. I have no idea where it is. Oh, for God's sake, I just repaired that. I need all my weapons. Oh my God, so much it's damaged. I don't know where the fire is. Oh, and they're fighting each other. Oh, this is a GG. Because I just can't get any weapons out. Even if I had more guys right now, it wouldn't matter because I wouldn't be able to get any weapons out the door. Oh, crap. Um, just going to have to vent this entire side of the ship. We need to get every weapon up and working. Then get out of there. Fight in the med bay. Can you get out of there? Yo, oh, Bishtor's dead. Yeah, they're fighting in the med bay, that's fine. Okay. The engine's down, which is annoying, because that was one of my things I liked, that I had high evade. Um... Bishtor's dead. Okay. Heavy drone's down. Put the heavy drone back up. Not the weapons. I was literally just waiting for the south to power up. We're dead. One point of hell. Fire in the weapons room. We're dead. Bye. We never even stood a single, like, chance at all. There was absolutely... There was no way we were going to survive that. Not with two missiles firing at the same time that did, like, four points of system damage. If we're completely honest, nothing nothing got past our shields. That was good. All we had to defend ourselves against missiles was evade, and evade didn't work because our bridge was down. I'll honestly say that there was no other way we could have played that. Without the ability to evade, because they took our bridge out, uh, or we do shields against two missiles coming at once. We have a one-shot drone that fires once per few seconds. We're always going to get hit, 
and doing that much damage and hitting our weapons with no way we could tell it. We didn't even fire a single shot at them as far as I can tell, apart from, you know, the heavy drone. There was no way we could have played that better. I'm perfectly happy that we played that the best of us possible and incredibly salty. <sighs> but yeah, let me know if you want me to continue playing FTL. I don't know. Um... I played it a lot of winter, and I still haven't won. Not on Captain's Edition. I do think Captain's Edition is way too hard, personally. And I know it's, they're like, oh, but it's meant to be hard. You're only meant to win one out of ten. It's like, yes, you win one out of ten. You know the game. You know the mod. You made the mod. I didn't. And I can't win at all. I mean, you know, I am a bit of a scrub. I make mistakes, as you'll probably see in hindsight. Then again, everyone makes mistakes. Just don't see it, because you don't record your own games. But, Oh, still a great mod, though. Still a great mod. Um, it's very hard to play the game without it once you played with it. Apart from, you know, the lack of salt, which is healthier. Actually, in real life, you do need a certain amount of salt or you actually start to suffer problems. Um, less, less salt is actually worse for you than more salt. I mean, ideally, you want the ideal amount of salt. But anyway, uh, we're getting off topic. The topic is FTL. It's an amazing game. And if you want to mod it, do so. The mods are down below. If you can't find them on Google, you do not deserve to mod. I've been at really seeing if you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing if you want me to play anymore, let me know. I would take suggestions for ships, but I don't have some ships unlocked, like the crystal ship. I unlocked that, and then I, like, switched laptops or something at one stage, and I didn't have cloud saves or something, and, and I don't have the crystal ship anymore. I also don't have the mantis ship, which is annoying. <sighs> I know with uh, Captain it's really hard to unlock them because the events are so uh, rare, because there's so many more events. Anyway. Until next time, stay shiny.